What's going on guys? Welcome back to RC Everyday. So, hadn't seen this rig on the channel in a while. This is my RC 4 wheel drive Trail Finder 2 with the 4Runner body. I think the last thing we did with that was uh, it got pretty beat up, it beat the creek. Uh, it fell in the barn and broke the top. But nothing structural damage with it, just the hard top is no more. So, instead of trying to buy another one to do it, I figured we'll just rock it. I mean, we've got a pretty good interior in this thing. And uh, lots of little odds and ends in there. But today we're fixing something that I've been wanting to do for a while, hoping it works out. So RC4 wheel drive has this new winch controller. This is an updated version of the worn wireless winch, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. And we've also got the, well, new to me, the 8274 worn winch. This is the big dog, uh, the old school style motor on top, and I've wanted one of those for a while, for the 4Runner specifically. It's all, you always see old Toyotas with those old big giant worn winches on them and it's going to be a challenge because we've got the cc hand front bumper on this thing and that cc hand bumper is a very expensive very detailed very nice looking bumper but i couldn't get a regular rc four wheel drive winch in it before so i ended up sticking this little off-brand one in there never hooked it up or functional or anything the fair lead didn't even line up with the bumper so i'm hoping that we can get this in there now one thing about these these big winches um, you always see they cut the grills and stuff on these trucks, put them in. Everything short of an FJ40 or 45, it's got that giant bumper sticking out. Everything else doesn't really have the room for that. And uh, yeah, not against doing that today. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to. But this bumper has a huge cavity in it, and I think this will fit in there nicely and just stick up a little bit. Not sure about our lights, how that's going to work. But another good thing about this is that bumper unbolts easily. I've already undone the wiring. We can pull the bumper off and get that other winch out and start looking at it here pretty quick. And then uh, once we get that sorted out, we'll start taking a look at this new winch remote and some of its new features and things. Got all that fitted up finally. They must make those CC hand bumpers out of steel from uh, Wolverine's poo because I couldn't drill through that. Yeah, I was lubricating the drill bits. Um, I have a pretty good set. They're like cobalt coated 
And uh, yeah, that was some solid stuff. So I had to start way small and, and kind of work my way out to keep biting at it. And it finally got some holes drilled in it to mount the new winch. And I had to clearance the grill a little bit. I got it fitting pretty tight. Really happy with how that looks. Put the lights back on. The light mount on this bumper is removable. And I flipped it out so the lights stick out a little further than they did. But it's all good. You can see that big old winch back in there. And I think it looks good. So we still got our cable pulled out. And now we're going to play with this new wireless remote receiver here. This is the new advanced one. I've never had any of the actual wireless ones before. All right, so this is what you get inside the box. You get your wiring harness with an XT60 connector. I think I have a battery with an XT60 on it still. You have the actual control module, the receiver unit, and you have a small lanyard for the remote itself. And um, I never had my hands on one of the original ones, but this looks a little bit more like the real deal. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's got an on switch on the back. Off switch, it's got a backlight, in and out. I don't think these other buttons do anything, they're just there for show. But in and out. And the big thing is they actually have some color instructions on how to wire this up. So that's going to be real handy again since I haven't had any experience with these before. Shows how to change the battery. Shows the basic wiring hookups. So it should be pretty simple. So uh, let me find a battery and we'll get started. All right guys, a couple days has passed and I've got everything kind of laid out on the chassis where I want it. I haven't attached anything yet. Got a lot of wiring to tidy up, but I was waiting on this adapter. So this comes with a power connector, goes to an XT60 and has a servo radio style plug on it. And I don't want to, you know, I don't run two batteries on my rig and I don't want to have to get a big bulky adapter for this. I run Dean's connectors. Got three of these on Amazon for seven or eight bucks. And it's just an inline Dean, so I can plug this into the receiver, or the ESC, leave it, and then have my wires permanently ran to the winch controller. Only way I could find this was with this little red and black battery plug, which you could either shave down and stick in there. Alright guys, so I end up rewiring the whole truck. Um, just having the receiver in the box, all the way at the back, I had to have extensions on everything. It was just a mess, and yeah, just try to simplify it. Move the receiver up here, the servo reaches it just fine with plenty to spare. ESC reaches it fine. The only thing that didn't quite reach were the lights. I still had to run an extension on those and everything's jiving nice. So we've got our truck fully functional and we've got our winch cooking on a lipo. So we are ready to go. Let's get it outside and have some fun with it. Alright guys, that about wraps it up for this video. This little thing is cool. I've never had a functional winch before, believe it or not. All the crawlers I have, I have, looking at them, one, two, I've had three with winches on them. <laughs> and I've never had one actually function. And, uh, yeah, this is nice. I like it. It's handy. Um, it's getting a little hairy with the wiring on this thing, with all the lights and that extra control box. But, you know, you're always cramped for space on these on the scale trucks with the interiors and floorboards and stuff but yeah I think it's pretty neat this little thing is pretty handy it's not too small that you're gonna lose it and it's got the lanyard so you can kind of hang on to it and find a way to connect it to my radio so it'll stay put but I'm excited too about this big winch I'm I've always wanted one of these and it fits Toyota very well I think so Anyway, guys, if you're interested in these, check out rc4wheeldrive.com. And, um, yeah, keep it scale. Got some new stuff coming up, and I uh, hope you all be excited to see it. So, until next time, guys. Bye.